Hello everyone and welcome back to part 77 of our EA Sports WRC Let's Play. Yes, we return this weekend for another huge opportunity at some big success here in our WRC campaign because we're back in Rally Estonia. I believe last season we came second here, uh, so I would love to go one better this weekend, not only for our own hopes, uh, but also because Seb Ogier is absolutely waltzing away with it at the top of the table. Behind him, I would make the strong argument that we're in the battle for P2 here. We're 29 points back uh, from Elvin Evans, of course. He would, he would still need a bit of a miracle if we wanted to try and beat him by the end of the year, but we've got a lot of good rallies coming up over the next few weeks, and this is certainly certainly a good way to start but honestly at this point for Seb Ogier for him it's just like keeping it clean and tidy and doing everything he needs to do towards the end of the season but yeah we should definitely break the 100 point mark as well over the course of this campaign one point back behind Thierry Neuville as we head into this round but yeah hopefully we can keep it clean and tidy if you are new around here as well please do make sure I leave a like get yourself subscribed and yeah let's do this thing Quickly though, before we get into that, I want to talk about today's video sponsor, Moza. Yes, Moza provides some of the best value and just simply best quality sim racing equipment out there for those of you on the PC platform. They've got a huge variety of steering wheels, wheel bases and pedals and I've worked with them for the last couple of years. Truth be told, if I was only racing on PC, I would probably be using their products exclusively. If you're interested in purchasing any of their equipment, I will leave a link down in the description below and if you click through there you also help support the channel at no extra cost to yourself it really does make a difference hello everyone i'm molly pettit and welcome to round eight of the fia world rally championship it's great to be here for rally estonia a fan favorite of course with its high speed sending the gravel surface high into the air leaving a familiar trail of dust to settle before the next team unsettle it once more Tough, unpredictable conditions look to be on the cards for this event, with crews relying as much on drivers' adaptability as they are on choosing the right setup. A quick look at the standings as the drivers make their final preparations to get underway. Let's see who we currently have in the top three championship spots. They are Ogier, Evans and Tanak. Those further down the standings should have plenty of opportunity to assert themselves throughout this exciting event. Yeah, got to be really, really careful then over the course of this rally. Uh, after that eighth place finish, though, in Safari Rally Kenya, I was really, really happy with that. Uh, looks like stage four then is going to be a wet one, uh, but the other four are all clean and tidy. If I remember correctly, last season we lost pretty much all our time uh, in the opening couple of stages through a couple of errors. So it's going to be later on um, where hopefully we're going to be quick. So if we can just keep it a bit tidier early on on this rally, then we're going to have a fighting chance. In terms of tyres, uh, softs and mediums for the course of this event. So we'll wait and see as to how Start we get on. But yeah, early on this rally is really scary. There's a couple of horrible corners, but Five, this is four, maximum attack, three, and two, I absolutely one, love it. Go. Four, left, see, we'll dive in, just do the shakedown, make sure everything is working as it should be, um, and also make sure we remember where we're going on this first little section. Got to be careful of that. Immediately then, potentially trying to be a bit too brave over there, but we'll get away with it this time. Of course, as well, around here, it is about listening to where you need to be going over the jumps. Um, otherwise, you're going to be in a world of hurt when you inevitably launch it off the wrong side of a jump, or apparently hit the inside of that tire wall, which I thought I was far enough away from. Or tire? Is it a hay bale? Is it a tire bale? I don't know. Either way, I didn't want to hit it, and I did. Um, yeah, you can really kind of steer the car off the back end right here. It is actually a little while since I've driven the Rally 1 car, so hopefully we can keep it clean and tidy throughout the course of this rally. 59 seconds just under. Uh, but yeah, happy with that then as a shakedown run. We might just have a tiny bit of bodywork damage that we need to fix up before we get into the first stage. Uh, and exhaust, apparently. So luckily, obviously you've got loads of time so we can get all that done. Right, let's do this thing then. Stage number one. We've come so close so many times on this game. Will today finally be the day we can get a win under our belt? 
how many podiums we've had, I do not know. I believe it's about five or six podiums so far in the Rally One machinery without an overall win. Um, so I really would love to change that today, but we'll wait and see. Just getting to the end of this one's always quite a feat. How scary it is. And unlike my trusty old Mitsubishi, this thing of course doesn't have six gears. We know where we're going though on the shakedown run. So we just got to try and keep it tidy. Is Yeah, that really does stick out more than you expect it to. It's a little bit annoying there. We'll scroll off a tiny bit of speed. Um, but I, I doubt that's going to be the end of the world come the end of this thing. Tip the car in off the rear. Use of engine brake. Get back on the loud pedal. And don't cut all of that. Come on. You've got to be better than this. You've got to keep it in the middle of the road. Should have been up by the end of the shakedown split. Instead, we are 1.8 seconds back. Be so careful of all those little wooden things as well. Because they will just instantly stop the car. There's nothing you can do. Uh. Gather it up. I guess the good thing is as well here, because you spend most of your time in top gear, um, you don't have to worry so much about not having two hands on the wheel. Of course, you haven't got to change gear as much unless you go for another spin. Come on. Maybe just trying to over-push the car a little bit. Horrible jumps. Oh, come on. What are we doing early on? It's been so messy. And I said we want to try and keep it clean and tidy through the opening couple of stages. Trying to be closer than we were last season. That's not happening. 11 seconds back. I just remembered at the last second, that's where that e-bail is. One of the worst position ones on the entire game. Ooh. We took a little bit of time Whoa. out of them. So we clearly have got the pace still. But, yeah, that was scary. I feel like through here we're going to lose a fair bit though. Go, 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 go. Lost a little bit of time through there, but he's fast to the end. I mean, he's fast everywhere, with that little exception, I think. Oh, way too early on the brakes there. It's so sad. Always feels so painful when you're that slow, but... Is what it is. What's the gap going to be at the end of stage one? We have just about survived, he says. Ten seconds in the end. So we didn't lose out any more. Very, very ragged, though. This this is so scary as a rally. Uh, P9 at the end, though, of that first stage. A Seb Ogier only down in P4. So, I mean, this should be Oik Tanak's rally. It is his home event. Uh, no other major surprises, though, I guess. But, yeah, we've got to try and start going quickest. Right, come on, then. Stage number two. Okay, we've got a fast blast. We know the second half of this one's lethal, because it's stage one reversed. 
you just gotta try and keep it clean. Hybrid boost as well seems to last forever off the launch here. That was scary. Gotta try and do a lot of one handed counter steering here. I can't help it. That's not good. We found an avenue back through at least, which I suppose is nice. But immediately, it's just those little bits of time. You can be so quick here. You can definitely be clear of the AI. But it's just eliminating those little slip-ups. And trying to make sure you don't hit the bales. Far too many obstacles, it feels like, as well. Hazards that will end your rally instantly. Less than two seconds back, though, despite that. Not the end of the world. Really, I've just got to keep one foot covering the brake at all times, don't you? Oh, I reckon my grand would have gone through there quicker, but there we are. This is absolutely a rally as well. Where listening, I mean, every rally is listening to you, co driver, is important. Here, though, I mean, you do basically feel like you're going through blind in a lot of places. It's down, though, which is good. So, we've absolutely got the pace to. I reckon get. Oh, no. Come on, it's just little moments like that. You can be two, three seconds a split quicker, but when you keep losing two, three seconds by doing that, it's irrelevant. I want to bring that gap down on this stage. We've got to prove that we are here to fight. Back end was trying to rotate itself in early. We managed to hold on to it. Remember, this is always the one. Well, I try and cut. We did well. Get all that power on the exit as well. I feel like slowly as time has gone on, I have been able to process the speed of this car just a bit better. Doesn't mean it makes it any easier, though. Three seconds back. It's not too bad. Horrible little position for a corner because you can't see it on the entry. And apparently, I'm going to nick another bale. Beautiful. Get through that one tidy at least. Sideways moment. I spotted those people beforehand, and I was as soon as the car got upset. I just got a little bit nervous there. Yeah, say so we took a little bit of time out of weight on that sector. I don't think there's any secret who the fans are here supporting though this weekend, and it ain't me. Tarnak really has put Estonia on the motorsport map single-handedly. Although I suppose now... Um, oh, what's his name in F2? I can see his face. Oh, Paul Aaron, isn't it? He's doing a pretty good backup job at that as well. Oh, I've left it in second. I thought I grabbed third. Apparently not. This bit's horrible, though. Easy way to lose a lot of time. Seeing basically, well, leaving the second right the way around here, as long as you don't hit any rocks. Oh, 
Well, no. Or trim that for whatever reason. That was a bit ragged. And now we get into the really scary stuff because I believe this is the section of rally where we've got all the blind jumps. And we're still three seconds back. That's what I mean. I can judge that one. The rest of them, not so much. We're going to aim about there. Wonderful. Oh, no. oh, that's always the one you get a penalty through. No matter what I do there, it's impossible. Come on, give me that the shrubs. But any time we might have gained through that split, it's immediately gone thanks to that penalty. Horrible rock on the inside. Seven seconds that gap up to, though. When you factor out the five, we actually took a little bit of time there, which is nice. Come on, big push to the end. Oh, that one just the. Uh, no. Get back on. Gather it up. Go, 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 go. Avoid that. Come. What? That's a five second penalty. Damn it, man. So difficult. Oh. Never feel like I get that nailed. Those posts are the death of me. Normally on this rally, anyway. See, how are you meant to see that as a little corner cut post? It's impossible. 16 seconds back, man, that's painful. Oh. That could have been even more. Clip the inside. Come on. Power to the end. Uh, nope, don't hit the people. Thank you. So difficult when you want to try and be aggressive. There we go. Tanak across the line. How far back are we going to be? Way back. No. Avoid the people. That was good to not get a penalty. But not good for our time. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Come on, we're going to need a miracle in the next okay. few. Ugh. 27 seconds back in the end. That is so sad. And we've got so much work to do in the final three stages. Every time I feel like I have a chance on this game in a rally, it just comes back to haunt me, doesn't it? We even picked up a puncture, I think, at the end there. I don't want to maintain my position, though. I want to move up the order as we're still P9. A bit lonely in that P9 at the moment. But 12 seconds a stage. If we nailed it, it's possible. But it's near impossible to do. Right, come on then. Stage number three. I think this is the reverse of the first half of stage two. If it is, it's very high speed. But we need a lot of speed. We need all possible speed. We need three seconds a split on this one, which is a lot, but it is doable. Keep it tidy through those bits and just get on the loud pedal. Carry the speed where you can. Yeah, I think this is. Oh, I broke way too early there. Interesting, though. I think Rovan Pera goes quickest on this one. I think he's gone quicker than Tanak. 
So I don't know whether that means Tanak's made an error or is simply just marginally behind him. But either way, it's good to know. What's the gap going to be at the end of split one? Very high speed ends to it. Three seconds. That's exactly what we need. It's possible if we get it nailed. Try to turn in too early. Come on. Oh, that was messy. And messy on the exit as well. Even if we can end up winning this, it's just about damage limitation. Scoring as many points as we can. We feel like we've had enough of disaster so far, and we're still inside the points. I just know there's more. Come on, little car. Just don't make any risks. Don't want to make any mistakes, sorry. Seven seconds, though. It goes to show where the pace is. Come on, let's get to the end of this stage in one piece. Keep opening up that gap wherever possible. It's definitely one of those stages where it feels scarier going this way. Come on, almost at the end. Slight left of crest, 90. Six left of crest, and bump into six right, opens from a small jump, 100. Bumps. God, I'm just trying to keep it planted. The gap's come down, though. That's not what we wanted. Come on, we can't necessarily take it easy. Into five right, tightens around bail. To five left, 70. Long crest, 30. Four left, long, slowing, 120. One left, up house, and slide right, 80. That was good. Happy with that. Opens into crest, 60. Three left short, 170. Oh no, don't lose it towards the end. Five right short. Keep it composed, but keep it quick. Slowing, crest, 40. Square right short. Round bail, up six left, half long, 50. Oh, easy. I think it's pretty much full throttle to the end. Come on, there we go. Yep, finish line. That was good. We took some time out of them. Only eight seconds, though. It's not a lot, but it's going the right way, and it shows we've got the pace still towards the end of this rally. Well, eight seconds then out of Robin Pera and Tanak, and even more out of everyone else. He's going to bump us straight back a bit of P7 then, ahead of Lappy and Evans. We're two seconds away from Hoffman. We are ten seconds away from Seb Ogier. He's going to be the big one we want to beat here. Yeah, I don't think half a minute in two stages is going to be viable. Right, come on then. Unless the AI is scared of the rain. I don't think... Yeah, 30 seconds is just not going to be viable, is it, towards the end of this? Uh, the fans clearly still loving it though. Still out in their droves despite the rainstorm. Um, but yeah, we've got to be clear. I believe this is stage one reverse. So we've got a fairly high speed bit early on. Then obviously the tight technical little loop. And then high speed right the way to the end with lots of places to ruin it. Or immediately though, noticing the lack of grip. Got to try and keep the car cleaner, ready for the wolf power stage. Um, we are on the mediums now as well, just so hopefully we'll carry some extra grip into that final stage. But yeah, we've got to try and keep it tidy through here first, as that was way too cautious. To avoid getting too much understeer. Front end is going to want to try and wash wherever possible. So we've just got to stop it from happening and avoid the rocks. That was good. Oh, don't fall off there again, thank you. Don't hit that rock, thank you. 
Right, left, well, this is where Crest, things are really going to make a difference. Right, left, Still a second up. That's why that probably, left, on paper, jump. being my worst 40, sector, but... After that, it is still oh, scary. Oh, and if we can avoid that five-second penalty, that's got to be the goal. I just never remember where it is. Never remember whether it creeps up earlier than I'm expecting or later. Is it here? Yes. Right of a crest. It's so simple. Two right and five left long. And six right, one hundred. Nope. Yep. Well, somehow we didn't quite hit it. We clicked off it, but yeah, any hopes of victory are gone. Big jump, one ten. I think now the goal is just try and get the wall power stage points. Try and beat Hoffman and OGA perhaps, but so annoying. I tell you what, all these near misses and defeats, when we do inevitably, I really hope we do end up with a WRC victory, it is going to feel all the more sweet, but whilst we continue to wait, what on earth did I hit there? We bounced off something. Come on, go. No. What is that? We landed on something. And then I basically have no rails to go. See, I don't think we're going to be able to beat Hoffman or OG8. We nail this. Yes, surprisingly. But we are so far back now. That was close. I thought we were going to hit that then. I would forgot they were there. I think the worst bit is going into these rallies where we think we have a chance. We just let it get away from ourselves. I think we try and push too aggressive too early. It leads to mistakes. And then we just cannot recover. That was close. Uh. See, when you get a little run like this, though, where it's aggressive, but you do keep it clean and tidy. Don't spin around again on me, thank you. So sad. Oh, don't crash here again. Uh, 16 seconds back in the end, so I think we did take a little bit of time out of the leader there in that final split, but yeah, we've got nothing. Despite their best efforts through this stage, this crew have dropped in the event standings. This is why Seb Ogier wins so many championships. He just never makes errors, does he? Uh, but yeah, looks like we're in the fight for P7 at the end of this. Maybe some Wolf Power stage points as well, but... Oh, this game... This game, why do I keep playing it? Taka, fastest so far, but of course, yeah, none of the top runners have had a go. Uh, so we, oh, I'm hoping we've got the five points here. If we can keep it tidy. But I'd say it's only a very, very short blast. Which immediately I'm going to get wrong, but we'll get lucky there. I mean, how are you meant to spot those little corner cut holes? Small 
We are ever so slightly down on power, actually. Looking at it. We're still able to get the VMAX, of course, but... Seems to take a while to get there. Forgot there was a tarmac through here. On the transition, six right, seventy five left, slowly sixty late, one right. Uh, hold on to it. No, nope, I'm slow down anywhere near enough. Just focus on not spinning rather than where I need to go as well. Which, you know, priorities, but that might cost us any chance at the wolf power stage points. No, nope. hold on to it. Come on. Costing us way too much. And if we're going to be like less than 10 seconds clear attacker, no fancy for chances. That's in what world is that a penalty? I've literally got two wheels on the stage. Ow. That is so sad. Normally, when we thought we have a chance at a win in one of these rallies, it just creeps away from us. This one. Has absolutely been ripped away. But through the final couple of corners, we might get a point or two. Uh, oh, man, that's so painful. So painful. And then this attacker has set the world alight. Yeah, there's no chance. Absolutely no chance in the end. I cannot believe how badly this one's got away. Like this crew have settled nicely into their rhythm now, setting another solid time on this stage and holding their position in this event. Well, no penalty. We would have been P5. We gained nothing from it. I don't get in what world that was a penalty, but P9 at the end of this event. Ninth overall as well. We were a second away from uh, Elvin Evans come the end of the rally there. But yeah, that one's just been a disaster. It's one that I absolutely want to forget and put behind us. We lose out points in every possible metric as well. And you can see it means we've lost the spot to Hoffman on a day where I thought we could close in on some of the big hitters. It has been the exact opposite. Thank you all so much for watching though. If you have enjoyed, please do make sure I leave a like, get yourself subscribed. I think next we're back for Rally Finland, um, which should be good fun. But... Oh, this game. I, I feel like I get a couple of good rallies under my belt. And then suddenly it gets turned on its head.